Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I'm going to open up and look at these kits. I'm so excited. They are not cheap. They're pretty pricey. 40 bucks a pop for each of these guys. I saw these on Tina's channel, Tina's Workshop. She is a YouTuber. She's, she's fairly new to YouTubing and she's very interesting, very informative. I like her a lot. Um, she is really someone that is my speed. I, I really enjoy her content a lot. So I will link her below if you're interested in checking Tina's channel out. Uh, she had mentioned on one of my videos that she reviewed the Red Heart Emigrami kit compared to these. And I didn't know these existed until I saw her video. <laughs> so thank you, Tina. Um, these were not available for a while, but when they came back in stock, I picked them up. Uh, I am a huge Snoopy fan from my childhood, extending into my children's childhoods. Uh, when our son was uh, very young, uh, our oldest son, I drew all of his pictures in his room to be uh, Snoopy Woodstock because they were like non-existent back in the day. He's, he's going to be 33. So think about that. 33 years ago, how many Snoopy things did you see? Like room stuff. You find it now, but back in the day, nope. So I, I have pictures of his drawings and it's not like they're hard, but I was so proud of them. And uh, JC Penny had a crib set and I got them, although I was super duper poor and uh, his whole room was Snoopy and I loved it. Whenever my children were feeling ill or not well, I would put Snoopy on to cheer them up, make them feel better. Uh, Snoopy was always a comfort to me growing up and uh, so I kind of extended that to, to our children as well. So. Snoopy is a big deal to me. Uh, Woodstock, I love because he's so sassy. And isn't that true? Like, if you've been around birds at all, <laughs> they're, they're pretty sassy. Um, I have all of the Snoopy movies that I can think of to way back in the day. Uh, and they're on VHS tapes. And so I need to slowly start replacing them and get them on DVD. But I, I have like all of them, all of the ones that you can imagine. I have them on VHS. I'm a Snoopy fan. I'm a Peanuts fan. I'm a Woodstock fan. I'm all the Snoopy things fan. Uh, I buy any coloring book that is Snoopy because I would go visit my grandma and she would have coloring books there. And the, the Peanuts gang was my favorite one. So without further ado, <laughs> I'm going to open them up, take a look at what's inside, and then uh, after after we spend time today with our granddaughter, I will I will excitedly wake up tomorrow and work on these because I think I'm going to love them. I know the highlight of all of this for me is going to be the crochet hooks, and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna open these up. I will mute and I'll be right back.
So those are the crochet hooks. There is like a film. You see that? It's coming off. It's like a very light tape film. But it is coming off. It's not a scuff on it. It's like from tape or something, but it's coming off. That's the reason why I bought the kits. I'm just going to straight up tell you, yes, that, that is the reason I wanted a Snoopy and a Woodstock crochet hook. They're nice. They're soft. They feel They're softer and smoother than a Clover Amore. So they're less grippy, but they feel really good. I, I do believe this is laid on it. Um, so eventually that would rub off if I was crazy and just use this all the time. I do believe they are the same size. Four millimeter, Snoopy says. Four millimeter says Woodstock, so. It is a four millimeter. Yep, they're both four millimeter. So my goal is just to make them. I, I'm not a beginner crocheter. I know Wooples is good for beginner crocheters. I saw this on Tina's video where it starts it for you in the round. So you don't even have to worry about starting in the round if you don't want to. Uh, that's not why I got the kit, but I will review it as somebody I'll wipe my mind clean and I will know nothing and I will start it like somebody is looking at it from a beginner point of view. I love everything about these. I am never going to throw this away. I love them so very much. I will come back to you and let you know what I think, but I, for the price you pay, I can't imagine this would be lacking in any way, shape or form. I've already been to their website they have so many kits, guys, like oodles and oodles of kits. Each kit has a video that teaches you. You have to have a code for the video before you can watch the video. And I like that because you're paying for that video. Only you should be seeing it. I'll be back to you uh, when I'm done and I'll let you know my thoughts. I apologize for my voice. I have a cold. So the kits are... They consist of the yarn, um, yarn needle, the hook, and then they have stitch markers on them, as you can see. The instruction is in the card behind Snoopy and right here. Um, it has a QR code for to get you to the videos. It has their website listed. It has an email and it has uh, a number you can text for help. So. It's a very rounded kit. Um, I don't think that you need anything else other than a pair of scissors to get you through the project. Uh, the yarn did not work for me personally. Um, with amigurumi, I, I tend to always do my stitches incredibly tight. Maybe I didn't need to, I don't know, but I did and it was hurting my hands. So I will repurpose that for like coasters or something. Um, but I used the just chenille yarn on Snoopy and I did use the black that came with the kit for the ears, his eyes, nose and mouth. And then the collar also was from the kit as well. I have not made Woodstock yet um, because I'm not going to use that yarn. So I'll just have to find yarn that works for me with Woodstock. So I think it's a comprehensive kit. Uh, I purchased these kits for the hooks. Um, if 
the hooks were just a normal hook that weren't Snoopy and Woodstock, I would not have purchased this. Woobles have been around for a while. Um, I remember watching them on Shark Tank with my husband and told my husband they are making bank, bank, bank um, with a price point. And they are, I don't remember what they said their, um, their cost was for the kit, but they are making bank like hand over fist. If you took away the hooks, I would not have purchased this kit at all, period. Um, each kit came with their own hook. I think that's a good way to get people. It got me. Um, and I'm not bitter about it, mind you, but I'm just saying overall as a kit, is it worth their money? No, it's not. Um, they have video instruction. You can print the pattern out by going to the video instruction at the top. It will say download pattern. Then you can download the pattern and you can print it. Um, the instruction was good. They have like from beginning, beginning stuff, um, holding your hook and all that, you know? So if you are a complete beginner, this, you know, good instruction. Uh, they have the written pattern, which is pretty decent. Um, one thing I do not like about the patterns that people write recently is that instead of instead of writing the pattern as normal, they have been writing it like round three, round three, um, eight increase. For a beginner, in my opinion, if you, if you don't know, what does that mean? You know, um, so as far as their pattern writing, it's fine, but, um, I don't like the new, the new trend that everybody has been doing with that six increase, eight increase, 10 increase. Just if you're a beginner, you need that spelled out for you. You need it to be like single crochet in your first stitch two single crochet in your second stitch, single crochet in your third stitch, you know, complete beginners need that instruction. Um, and I think a lot of us lose that mindset when we aren't beginners anymore. Uh, to get the learning process down, at least for me, right? Um, I guess I can only speak for me, but I can't imagine starting off with that type of pattern. Uh, I started off with patterns that were word for word, you know, and then quickly switch to the the abbreviations. But even with the abbreviations, you would get one SC comma two SC in the next stitch. Like you would at least have that. So I don't like the trend of the patterns that I've been seeing recently that are changing over to that. I don't like it. I, I don't like it. Uh, I don't think it's helpful. But that's just my opinion. You know, you don't have to agree with me ever. But um, the Whoopals kits are cute. They're charming. They they know what they're doing. Um, and they're doing it well. Like, good for them. But if I was to recommend a beginner's kit, if you are not looking to spend a big chunk of money, these were $40 each. That's a big chunk of money. That's a big chunk of money. Um, if you're not looking to spend that kind of money, um, go over to somebody like High Crochet where they have exactly the same instruction to a T, quality materials, uh, quality hooks, like everything about High Crochet was very high quality. Um, I'm not affiliated with High Crochet. They gifted me some kits, but price point wise, they are the way to go um, because they have more interesting things. This is a basic kit. High Crochet has ones that walk, dance, bubble, like there's a plethora of ideas there for you to have that's not just basic.
but overall, you know, I got these for the hooks and I got the hooks now, so I'm happy. Snoopy is adorable. Super cute. Instruction was good. I had no problem with her instruction. Not that I thought I would. Uh, definitely not a beginner. I've been crocheting for a couple of decades now, so it is fun to do something that is um, easy and uh, enjoyable. So if I were only to do things that were advanced or hard all the time, I probably wouldn't crochet. Uh, most of the patterns that I bring are beginner friendly because anyone can enjoy them. So I, uh, I think these kits are decent. I do think they're overpriced. So what would I rate them? Um, my opinion, and I am the master of my, my own opinion. I would think I would probably give these an eight and a half out of 10. I think they're too expensive and I couldn't use the yarn, but that's a me problem. Eight and a half out of 10. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I appreciate you. Uh, until next time guys, take care. Bye.